Now, the dolphin uses an intelligent and automatic system to claim the pools. The line of cleanliness uses a sophisticated calculation to determine the best way to clean your pool surface. Unlike some of the automatic cleaners that utilize a pre-program or random patterns, normally using a bumper bar to hit the wall, turn off at various angles, our dolphins use a scanning algorithm to ensure that the optimum surface coverage is done within your pool. This means that the dolphin will clean overwhelmingly majority of the pools, close to 100% of the pool surface. Because the dolphin programming allows it to determine the most efficient path to clean the entire pool, it will often clean the areas that the others miss, including the dive bowl that we saw earlier, as well as the entire rest of the pool. The dolphin actually performs a self-test diagnostic at the beginning of every cycle. This is switched on to ensure for a proper operation. Now, I'll just see if I'll get you just to click that again. Okay, the well, Mac's not going to do it. Um, with this particular pattern, this is what we call a crisscross. This is in a 50 meter pool utilizing the wave cleaner. Now, as you can see here, normally, if it wasn't a map, uh, we'd have a bit of um, a animation running through, but I'll just describe it here. Normally, to get the maximum coverage of the pool, you would put your cleaner in at the halfway point, allowing the cable to be able to reach both opposite corners of the pool. Now, during this particular pattern that we call crisscross, the cleaner will start here, go to the opposite wall, come out from the wall, move itself across and come back down. Scanning the whole pool, covering it, uh, and setting the width, which can either be fine, medium or coarse, at 30, 60, or 120 centimeters. As it goes through, it'll get to the corner. It'll turn itself 90 degrees. It'll then run lengthways across the pool, up and down. It'll then get to the next corner, and run back on the width. As you can see, it's getting the maximum coverage. And in the last corner, to ensure that the cable does not get tangled, it'll turn itself 270 degrees and run the last section of the pool. Obviously, getting the maximum coverage and covering each part of the pool four times. Move up to the middle. It's hung up. Ah, okay. Um, moving on to the next cycle, as soon as the computer is able to catch up. Uh, we also have what we call an obstacle pattern. So as soon as this goes through, we'll actually see a pool that has a small <coughs> red box sitting here. Now obviously, as I explained before, it's detrimental for the cleaner to have the cable wrap around the various obstacles. So what we'll say in the next slide is the cleaner moving through its pattern. But once it hits that obstacle and senses it, it will actually go around the cleaner, a uh, obstacle and then continue through, cleaning the whole rest of the pool. Obviously the benefit of that is, is that no other cleaner on the market at the moment has the potential to be able to do that. Okay, so here we see the obstacle. You can tell by the arrows which way the cleaner is moving. It hits the obstacle, it reverses out, moves around, comes back, reverses back down to the obstacle, getting the maximum coverage and then continuing through the cycle. Now this particular cycle is moving from left to right, still maintaining a solid pool coverage. And we're still not gonna get the animation working, that's fine, we'll just move on to the next slide. Okay, so we've spoken about the scanning pattern, now we're gonna talk about the filtration. In our planners, we actually use different types of uh, filtration, whether it be filter bags or cartridges. Now these can filter down anywhere between 50, 70, or 100 micron, allowing full debris collection, but also filtering the water as they go. These come standard, both come standard with the units, and you're able to choose, depending on the debris amount in your pool, which one's going to be suitable for which day. We also spoke about what pool surface you have, whether it be concrete, tile, or fiberglass. 
Depending on the surface of the pool, Proud will use various types of brushes on the cleaner to ensure that they are scrubbing the floor and getting the traction that's required. Now one of the beautiful things is those that are running swim schools at their facilities will understand that the teachers are in there between three to six hours a day, potentially longer. And even with standard cleaners, they're still leaving a film on the bottom of the pool. <coughs> now this can be dangerous for the teachers as well as the young children in there, as it still creates a slippery surface. The great thing with our brushes is that they're actually scrubbing the floor as they go, removing that film as well as <coughs> the main debris, making it better for the teachers and obviously safer environment. So just in summary, Motronix, who has been operating for 30 years, is an Israeli company. And they're the number one manufacturer of robot cleaners in the world. Our Australian office is based in Brisbane, in Archerfield, as well as Sydney, Melbourne and Perth. We offer local support through our commercial dealer network. We offer local service and quick turnaround times to ensure that any servicing of the equipment <coughs> is maintained and you get the cleaner back as quickly as possible. And if you don't have a cleaner, we're happy for you to give us a call or contact our website, as you can see on their brochures. Uh, and we can come out and demo the, the cleaners specific to your pool and allow you to see the, the cleaners operating in your environment. Thank you very much for your time today and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the breakfast. Thank you. Thanks.